Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Wednesday, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome in if you are new here and welcome back if you are a regular. I hope you're all doing well and having a good middle of your week. So, for today we are working on another apartment in San Myshuno. This comes with the City Living expansion pack if you guys are new to Sims. I'm gonna start saying that because I feel like I get a lot of questions on that sometimes. Um, but anyway, so we are currently working on an apartment for a single mom and three under three. So we do have twins. We've got twin toddlers, a girl and a boy, and we've got an infant little boy. So we have three little ones and she is a single mom, um, finding her own little, you know, system in a, the big city. So we have quite a reasonable sized apartment, considering it is a very small place. <laughs> we somehow managed to fit in two bedrooms and two bathrooms, so I'm not complaining. Um, I think that this turned out really cute. I really like how the main living area turned out. I did decide to use some base game cabinets, which I don't normally do, so that was a little bit of a change. Um, I'm currently working on two sets of townhouses. Now, guys, if you've ever made townhouses, you know how big of a task it is, and I'm working on two at the same time. Why? Because I'm crazy. Um, I'm working on a collab with some of my summer friends, and the townhouses are quite, you know, I suppose, like, New York sort of style. And then I'm also working on a custom build for somebody, which is in Strangerville. So we've got six apartment slash townhouse vibe in Strangerville that I'm working on, and honestly, it's probably, like, something I've never done before, but it it's actually quite a lot of fun. So if you guys haven't done that before, I highly recommend. It's kind of unusual, um, but it's quite a nice style. It's kind of a bit creepy, but like in a good way, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, but no, it's really cute. And I will be, uh, it's not cute, that's completely the wrong word. Um, I will be uploading it to YouTube at some point, but I need to finish it first. I'm on the second townhouse out of six. So hopefully it'll be done by this evening, but it's quite a lot of, stuff <laughs> some of them are three floors some of them are four you know it's just a bit it's a bit much but it's a lot of fun so i'm looking forward to showing you guys that but anyway back on to today's apartment we're currently just adding in some clutter to the kitchen i didn't want to add too much because like you can see it's quite a small space and it still needed to be functional so i did make sure that we did have one counter space which was free so it's functional um i don't have any high chairs because well for one they barely work but second of all we don't really have any space so we have two dining chairs which i think turned out fine um obviously ideally this room would be bigger but it is what it is and I really like how it turned out so I hope you guys like it too. I think the colour of these sofas is absolutely adorable as well like such a pastel colour it's just gorgeous. I think they did. Did they come in pastel pop or tiny living? Honestly can't remember but they're stunning regardless. Um, anyone else like super excited for the new kits that are coming out in eight days? Eight days next just next thursday what does it tuesday then um next thursday we've got two kits coming out we've got a storybook nursery kit which my goodness that is like my dream as a builder and an artist studio or something like that i'm quite happy because i think they're both build kits now don't get me wrong your girl loves a cast kit. I'm not a cast kind of gal. I'm a builder, obviously, and somewhat game player, but mostly a builder. But I, uh, I love a cast kit because it just it brings out so many like little, like special items of clothing. Instead of like, I feel like when you get an expansion pack, some of the clothing items aren't the best. Whereas when you get a kit, because it's solely focused on clothes, it just it feels a bit more personalized maybe i don't know i just like it so i'm glad that they are two build kits i assume because i mean artist studio and storybook nursery sounds incredible and two of the things i absolutely love however i also love a cast kit so you know there's that as well which is kind of annoying but i am super grateful because building is my world as you guys know um i honestly don't think i've gone a day without building other than like maybe a day in a very long time. I don't think I've ever gone two days without building, unless I'm at my parents' house, but like, you know, that's because I don't have my PC, but if I've got the PC next to me, <laughs> I'm always building. Um, a side note, my um, social media accounts are finally back. Finally. Um, I know that you guys heard me rant about it before. I lost access to my personal Facebook account and my simming accounts and Instagram, which was like so tragic because I love Instagram. It's like my cozy zone. And I finally got them back. So I got all of them back yesterday. Finally, it stopped glitching. Um, I don't even know why it glitched in the first place because there's actually no reason for it. But 
social media honestly but technology is great when it works when it doesn't it drives you absolutely bonkers so i'm grateful that they're back so we are back to normal schedule now because i can post properly um i'm also going to be coming out with a couple of reels because i haven't done reels in a long time um because of all of this parvo going on um but i want to get back into doing my little like stories on my instagram of my sims lives so stay tuned to that that will probably be maybe i'll do one today but probably not because i've got to finish those townhouses but maybe tomorrow um i'm hoping to get some more content out because i've got so many ideas i've got so much that i'm working on but it's just it's hard to finish it all and i want to work on all of it at the same time and it's just not possible so anyway back on to the video without me rambling on anymore um we're currently working on the mum's room i think this room turned out really cute considering it is very small i think it actually turned out really nice and it's completely functional there's enough clutter in here without making it feel very overwhelming so i think that's a good you know combination <laughs> in my expert building opinion not um but yeah i really like this room i think it turned out really cute i probably prefer this room to the kids room which is a first i never actually prefer the adults room but i really like this bed it's from horse ranch and it's just really cute and cozy so i just really like how this apartment turned out so i do hope you guys enjoyed today's video with that being said i am going to end the voiceover by here for today guys there's one bedroom left which is the kiddos room and they've got some screenshots at the end i've also started including screenshots so let me know if you like that um i've got some pictures at the end to show the overall build and yeah, that's pretty much it for today. I'll be back tomorrow, probably with the townhouse build, but we'll see if I can get that finished because it's quite big. Um, but yeah, so like always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn the notification bell. I really appreciate it. I love your guys' feedback and I wish you all the most wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Tell you marks, beauty queens with final flaws. You can be better, I dare you to be wilder. I don't fear to your box, baby.